What's going on guys? Slightly different look to the video today because we're doing something very, very different. In this video, everything that you're going to see was shot and edited on my Galaxy Z Fold 4 while using the brand new LumaFusion editing device. Now in this video, you're also going to see me basically editing this video, what the experience is like in LumaFusion uh, to do this sort of work. But the broader idea that I wanna get across here is not just you know how does Luma Fusion work and how good is it, which that will be a big part of this video, but a, a larger part of this is going to be how flexible and useful is the Z Fold 4 for some something like this, a workflow like this. I just framed my shot using my Galaxy watch so that I made sure everything looked okay without having to peek around my device. My Z Fold is set up in sort of a laptop orientation acting as its own kickstand. That way I can film with the primary sensor and hopefully get some pretty good audio and video quality out of this device. And then like I said, I'm gonna show you editing not just on the tablet screen, but also plugging it in and doing the editing on uh, uh, DeX, the DeX interface, the desktop interface that Samsung has on their devices. So there's a ton of options and a ton of flexibility here with the Z Fold 4. And that's the broader picture of kind of what I want to be showing you guys in this video. Not just LumaFusion, but also the power and flexibility of the Z Fold 4. So. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll add in some other shots here after this and we'll go from there. We're just hanging out outside enjoying a slightly cool morning today in Knoxville, Tennessee. We're sitting, you know, close to mid 50s already. Should actually be pretty warm today. So we'll hopefully get to spend some time outside playing with the dogs, maybe playing a little bit of fetch. Let's take a look here at my koi pond real quick. I'll show you what this is looking like right now because uh, yeah, we're getting close to the time of year when they start to be somewhat dormant, but that's not quite here yet and they're still pretty active. It's November, but it's still warm enough for them to be swimming around doing their thing, eating a normal amount of food for the most part even. How about a little bit of an impromptu studio tour here for this part of the vlog? I know some of you have asked about this and things have changed quite a bit since I did this last. Let's step back here. We'll get a broader view here of what's going on. This is kind of where I work most of the time, guys. So. Here's the computer itself, custom built computer. I won't go over the specs because it's kind of boring, but it's good enough to do some pretty solid gaming as well as some video editing. Dual, dual curved uh, Samsung monitors, keyboard by Logitech, mouse by Logitech as well. You can see my accumulation of earbuds there and there's more than that laying around places. This is where I take a lot of my thumbnails. Most of my thumbnails are taken right here. I turn on this uh, handy light and I take a photo you know, kind of like that. And then I go in and I delete the green screen, add a nice colorful background of some sort, some text, and off I go. Then there's all kinds of junk in the floor, like delicious for the dogs, my you perfect lap dog, Oculus. Kind of messy in here right now, but I don't know, it's not that bad. Over here I have the, uh, the leopard geckos that do live in here. Can we get a look here at Solaire? There's Solaire's tail sleeping. And then here's uh, Leo hanging out, taking a peek, seeing what, what's going on out here. There you go, guys. A very quick, somewhat impromptu vlog, all shot on the Z Fold 4 and edited on the Z Fold 4 using the new LumaFusion app. Hopefully this was useful information to you. If it was, don't forget to subscribe so that you don't miss more content just like this. And until next time, stay nerdy, my friends. Okay, so the first thing that we need to do here is I have some files I actually need to get onto my Z Fold for some stuff that's going to be uh, necessary for this video. So we're going to use CX File Explorer and we're going to jump into my downloads and we're going to grab these files here and we're going to go ahead and move them to move myself out of the way here. And let's go into our downloads folder and we'll just paste them there really quickly. Now we can open up LumaFusion, and I've literally never even opened up this app before, so we're going to learn on the fly here. This is what it looks like on the Z Fold 4. We're going to watch this tutorial because I don't really know what I'm doing here. Okay, watched a little bit of these videos, and I think I have a decent handle on this, so we're going to press the plus to create our first project. So you have a timeline down here, and then it looks like your media is down here at the bottom, so that... Seems pretty normal, pretty basic stuff here. So what we're gonna need to do is we need to grab our video files, which will first be this one, and we're gonna drag it up there to the starting point, and that should be all of that. Now we do have some audio that we need to also add in. So let's go down here to audio, and we have our intro music, which we will drag into place as well. So now, this should be 
going on, guys? Slightly different look. To okay, so we're going to need to go in and obviously cut to about there on the video. So now we need to figure out how to actually snip that, which is done by selecting the video and then hitting your little snip button down there. Now I should be able to uh, click on that bit and then delete it, which there's a little trash can here. So we've deleted it, but that also looks like it deleted my intro music as well. So we'll just drag this back up again and see how good this looks. What's going on guys? Slightly different look to the video today because we're doing something. Now, I do think that my audio here might be a little bit too low. So let's click on that and see if we can figure out how to raise the audio level. Okay, it looks like I actually need to hit this button here and then I can apparently change the audio per track, which is what I needed to do. So let's bump that up by about four. Look to the video today because What's going on guys? Slightly different look to the video. I think that sounds pretty close. So what I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to save this project and then I'm going to plug it into my computer setup and actually start running this in DeX and see how it looks in the DeX environment. Do we get a new layout, something that's more like a desktop video editor than this? Let's find out. All right, we are loading into our DeX environment now, clicking start now on my Z Fold 4. We should be looking at DeX here in just a moment. Great. Go into the app drawer and let's open up Luma Fusion here. And lo and behold, there is our project. But even cooler than that, it has morphed into something much more familiar to me. This is actually very, very cool. This looks really similar to every uh, video editor that I've ever used in my life. And so that is a great thing. So if we scroll back, we can see what's going on, guys. Slightly different look to the video today because we are we're exactly doing... where we were before. So now what we're going to do is we're going to let this play ahead and see if there's any spots that I need to trim or edit in this first clip. Brand new Luma Fusion editing device. Now in this video, okay, so there I just called Luma Fusion a device instead of an application. So we're going to see if we can scroll back. Oop, I did something stupid there. I need to click on the timeline, not on the uh, not on the actual bit of video. So. What we need to do now is we need to go back, we need to find that moment, and we're going to see if we can add some text to correct myself there. So this is our spot here, so now let's see if we can figure out how to add some text. Okay, so I think up here, one of these buttons here should let me go to your yeah, titles. So obviously a lot of these are just like preset titles, but I think I can use one of these as basically a, a bit of text. Standard plain text. So let's, oh, oh it's trying to refresh. Let's grab that and let's drag it into place. So I'm gonna try double clicking on that box there. And now I've got this screen. Let's see if we can figure this one out. So I can move it around with this. I would like to put it down there, but now I do need to figure out how to actually change the text. So I'm gonna click on it and hit, that's not working. Okay, maybe, oh, I can edit now. I double clicked on it, now I'm able to edit it. So Luma Fusion is an app, not a device. And then we'll do a little smiley face. But now we are too big. So we need to actually scale this down a little bit until we're actually in the screen. And I think that looks okay there. So let's go back. And then I need to actually uh, shorten this. So I'm actually gonna move it to about there. And then can I shorten it? Yes, I can. Okay, so we're in pretty good shape. Let's see if I can finish editing this clip now. Okay, so that's my ending point there. I'll rewind it back just a little bit, and then let's see if there's actually, is there a hotkey for splitting? I can obviously just click on my thing and then click there, but a lot of the time, it's control B. And look at that, control B work. Let's hit delete, and it's gone beautiful. Love me some good hotkeys. So let's go back to media, and let's go to videos, because... I do have some more stuff to add here. Let's drag this one into place and we'll carry on. Now, I don't like that it jumped me to the end. That is annoying because now I have to scroll back to where I just now was, but whatever, that's fine. Space to play. We're just, and we're gonna go back just a hair and we're gonna control B, click on that chunk we just now cut out and hit delete and it, yep, it deleted it and jumped us back up. Look at Rose looking awful sleepy this morning. <laughs> so now one problem that I'm having here is that when I press the space bar to pause it, it kind of continues on for a little bit and that's making it a little bit difficult to to really like hit my mark and, and to, to, to cut where I want to cut and to know kind of where I need to cut at. Like, watch this. Most part even. Probably heard me hit my space bar and saw it go a little bit further. So we're gonna have to go back Control B and then delete. And now we have to actually 
make sure that we didn't cut out any words. Now we'll grab the next one, drop it in place, and once again it jump, jumps us all the way to the end. Let's scroll back and see if there's anything that needs to be cut or edited out of this clip. Get a broader, a broader view here of what's going on. Need to cut that out. Now this part's going to be difficult to dial in exactly where I need to be. Like if I cut here and delete this bit, I really wish I could figure out how to zoom in. So I could get onto that clip right there, but I just can't seem to figure out how to how to do it. Somebody can tell me in the comments maybe, but I think this would be uh, pretty close. It still does feel like things are just not quite synced up, right? Like I would expect if, if it's, you know, the timeline is playing from here, that doesn't look like talking, but it, it will be there, but I'm still hearing talking. That may be an issue with, with Dex. I'd have to double check and see if it was like that on the uh, tablet interface or not, but it is just a little bit out of sync and it makes it hard to pause things and to make those cuts where I want them to be more easily. Stay nerdy, my friends. You can see there, it just kind of keeps going a little bit. So we're going to make our final cut there. We're going to delete that. And now I have this bit of outro, which actually says intro, but I've been using it as an outro. Don't worry about that. Put that in place. We'll click up here to move back where we need to be. And now we need to uh, close this and go to audio. And we have our outro music, which I can grab. And we're going to put in place about there did it actually line up with ending at the end correctly or are we going to have audio playing on a black screen hopefully that's about right so okay let's let this play and until next time stay nerdy my friends okay i i think that's pretty close all right, now that we are pretty much done, let's click on export down here. We're going to export the movie and we're going to do this to let's go to my files and you can kind of change your settings here and then click up there one more time and you can change the project name uh, to whatever you want to. At this point, we're going to call this thing vlog and we're going to click on export. And now we're going to get to pick where we want to put it. We're going to go and just put it in the downloads folder, which it will not let us do. What about DCIM? Okay, we can put it there. That's fine. Yes. And you will see here that the Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1 in the Z Fold 4 will chew through this pretty quickly. I reckon it's going to take a minute or two to get this done, which is really not bad at all. All right. Now, apparently there is a way to actually drag and drop files uh, from this Dex plugged into my computer to my computer itself. So we'll see if we can figure that out really quickly too. I think you have to use the files app here. There is our vlog and I think maybe I could kind of do this where like I can kind of bring this halfway over so you can you can see what we have here. So let's see if I can long press this vlog and drag it. There it is. We are copying it over. Now I could have done this with my CX File Explorer and done this wirelessly but this obviously was a little bit quicker. So there you go. There is a pretty good amount of information and an experience using LumaFusion on the Z Fold 4. You saw it in tablet mode. You saw it in Dex mode. What are my thoughts overall? I think it is very, very good. I've used CapCut for the last little bit. Anytime I've needed to edit a video on my phone, I'll probably keep using CapCut for really quick things. This is a, a bit more of an in-depth process, yeah, with some more options and some more stuff to do. I still think CapCut is very, very good. LumaFusion is like a proper desktop solution. So if you want something like that, it is in the Play Store and it is in the Galaxy Store now. I'll drop links to both in the description. It is not a free app. If you get it now, it's like 20 bucks. Later, it's going to be like 30. There is so much more about LumaFusion than I'm going to show you in this video, though. So if you want to see more stuff about it, Go find some in-depth videos and some, and some tutorials like the videos that they've posted because like I said, there is a ton more. This is a full like professional grade video editor that will now run on your phone. If you want something that is just quick and simple, probably check out CapCut in the Play Store. At any rate, guys, thanks for watching. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe. I will see you on the next one. And until next time, stay nerdy, my friends.